up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero. Welcome back to Pokemon Reborn, episode number 115. Last time, we took on the third of three consecutive battles without being able to save. And after the second attempt, we were able... Or was that eventually the third attempt that we were able to win? I think that was like the third attempt that we were able to beat it. Uh, and then we made our way down here where we saw a lot of like memories of our of what we've gone through in Reborn so far. Uh, as we were walking up here, we saw someone laugh. Someone's laughing at us for being down here. We're going to find out who it is and continue on today. If you're enjoying Reborn, hit the thumbs up down below. Make sure you subscribe. Let's get to it. Our team, we're going to go ahead and lead Metabot. There was nobody. That was, I, you know, I knew I was getting baited. I could feel I was getting baited, but... Anyway, I just finished watching the Junior World Championships for VGC, uh, where Terrakion Whimsicott just won Worlds. Why are you in half? Why are you in half? Who's this guy? Uh, no, that's L, if I remember correctly. And Bennett, of course. We all... Okay, I was about to say, we all know Bennett. We all hate Bennett. There's old collapsed Saphira, I guess it is, probably. Gardevoir. If this is what it's like to die, I don't mind. I'm happy. I was finally able to be of use to my master, and that feeling is my own. My own. No matter how intensely I may feel it, even I know the truth. All of my desire for him is just reflection of his own longing for her, and neither of us could ever realize it. After all, a human marrying a Pokemon? How gauche, unthinkable. These aren't the dark ages anymore. I'm not stupid, just a mess. And even if I put out all of, even if I put all those thoughts spare, square out of my head, I know they would all come rushing back the moment I saw him again. Is that just how crushes are? Or is it just part of my fate to only have his feelings? I suppose I'll never find out. Not anymore. Aw, Gardevoir. I remember this. Um, do I take the obvious way? I don't think so. I'm gonna go this way. Actually, hold on. Maybe I do take the obvious way. Oh! Those are fake. Are these also fake? Those are also fake. Go this way. That's Terra. Terra, the, Terra's crazy. Wait, my friends. No, not a waterfall. Titania. It's, it's better this way. But you're not the one who gets to decide that. Literally, I'm going through all of the tragic times. This freaking hypno has me hypnotized. What happened when we were down here? I don't remember. Blake, why? Blake, isn't that your brother, if I remember correctly? Cal, that's right, that's right. How much longer do you think we have to stay out here? As long as a rope. What? How long is a rope? As long as it needs to be. Huh? I was just tired. Stop making excuses. I didn't mean to ruin anything. If you're really tired, then go to sleep. Here in the snow? No, in the in the luxury down in the luxury down bed we've got. Yes, out here. Dad won't be mad after this, right? He will if you keep asking things like that. But I'm so cold. Yes, that's kind of the point. I want to go inside. Stop complaining. It's your fault we're in this situation in the first place. I'm sorry. No, you're not. I am. You're sounding like him. Better him than you. Jeez. There's some... Shade, you better... Mm, shade, you better get out of here. I ain't messing with you, Shade. I, I'm not messing with these people. These people just popping up randomly out of nowhere. I'm not, I'm not down for that. Especially Shade. My friends! All gone. Literally 
Usually their heads are cut off. This hypno is just having a field day. Goodness gracious. This hypno is just having a field day. This is Zell, or... Whoa! I, w I think I'm catching most of this, like most of what's going on. Agey Slash? Why do I have to walk over you? That's not polite. This place is just really weird. Enough. Luna? There's no freaking way. There's no freaking way that Lu There's no freaking way. How do you do, Domino? It has been a fair few moments since our last visit, has it not? But let us not linger on this. I fear you have dallied here far too long as is. Though I do not fault you for it, this is my home rather than yours, so I will handle this place from here, please. The way forward is yours alone. Nah, you, you get out of my way. Please. No, get out of my way. Get out of my freaking way. You know what? Let's fight. I beat you before, right? I'm sure I've beaten you before. I played everybody. I battled everybody in this game. I'll battle you again. I'll take you out. I don't trust you, Luna. Nah. All right, fine. That is so bright. Holy cow. I haven't seen these people in forever. Ha, huh, unbelievable. I missed everything. Look who it is once again. Are you yourself, Domino? Please don't be alarmed. It is only me. I recognize this is a somewhat unfortunate visage for... Vice Age, Visage, Vice Age, one of those two words, for you to return to, so allow me. Hey, perhaps you remember me better this way. It would be so kind, please pay no mind to my appearance before. It is one of my more, shall we say, esoteric headpieces. Perhaps I can explain in time, but for now. Miss Volcane, have you seen? Not all is lost after all, not for good. Sarah. Sarah? Sarah? Wait, she's the eighth gym leader. She had what? The ice types. Wait, I just fought her. She was one of the ones I just fought with the Glaceon, Ninetales, Sand Slash, Frost Slash, and Jinx. I'm mad now. Better not talk. Yeah, I see that. But too much has been. We aren't doing so well, you see. This requires some damage control. Nurse Rejoima says on the case. I don't promise to have medical qualifications, but I do promise to help as best I can. I don't know why I switched his voice. It looked like... Sorry. A male Nurse Joy? Who ever heard of that? Now listen, my dear, we don't discriminate here in the healthcare industry. Besides, no one heard of anything until it was invented, so let us not be too quick to dismiss new developments. The new developments have dismissed themselves. I should have known. This is the only way things go. You certainly can choose to believe that if you are happier doing so, but I suspect you are not. Of course I'm not. not. No one will be happy knowing that they'll lose everything sooner or later. At least this is why we don't, at least this way we don't get hurt. Au contraire, you, you are hurt all the same. You are only taking on that, uh, you are only taking on that pain now as opposed to later. And with no guarantee when or where later might arrive, you bear an awful lot of wounds in the meantime. Is that truly worth it, I wonder? And what about you? Aren't you upset over, upset over losing her? Over both of them? Of course I am. But for better or for worse, I am a veteran when it comes to losing hers. One might say I have been bearing an awful lot of wounds through some mean times. Another might say we often tell others the advice we ourselves need to hear. And yet another might say that it is better to focus on these whom we still have. For instance, saving that girl was rather heroic of you. This pure, this pity doesn't suit your triumph. What triumph? I couldn't stop them. Any of them. 
What's... Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. What's broken can't be fixed. Clearly it can't be replaced either. There's no going back. And yet Domino has come. Who knows if another might yet. But I believe we are being rude to our new arrival. Domino must be quite confused by now. I will explain. I had been here and there before Luna informed me that she had been contacted. She told me that a friend had summoned her to this place. I thought it curious, so I offered to escort her. That is how we came to be here. Well, how is it? It's an, it's an adventure. An elevator with cut cable frosting. Cut cable frosting and sprinkles of glass all over it. I believe I'll wait for supper. Indeed, one, one would need to be mad to climb down through this. So, I take it you're going immediately? I just might. Gardevoir? Oh. Luna 2, what are you doing here? How are you doing, Mother? And that means that person must be... Based on the strange hat, Radimus. Radimus M. Van Hennen, to be precise. My hat represents your words, but I, on the other hand, am honored to make your acquaintance. I have heard much about you, madame. Likewise. Luna, dear, are you unwell? Are you crying? I... I am perfectly fine. There is no need to worry about me. I am just very happy. I am happy to have you both back. Right. So, Miss Volcane, what brings you to these vo uh, Volcane? What brings you to these remote parts? Parenting. Well, it seems you've come to the right place. I didn't mean. I suppose so. And and uh, sorry. And now we finally have the whole family back together. What a wonderful but shocking turn of events. Miss Volcane, would I be right in deducing that mag this magnificent Gardevoir was the one who who you uh who directed you to this place? What? Preposterous. You would. The slander. Gardevoir, you were the one who arranged this rendezvous? Why, the audacity to imply such a thing. I could faint on the very spot. Gardevoir. La la la, fainting over here. Thank you. Truly. Madame? I need to find my son. And you should be here, and, and he should be here as well. Should he be here as well? Do you not think it wise to go together? I know better than to count on others staying. Mother? And, uh, there's so many voices switching so quick, it's hard to keep up with it. And even if it be unwise, do you think it'd not be kind? Fine, I understand. I'll go with you all. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, well, a yawning. Goodness gracious. Fantastic. Sarah, join the party. Although I do not wish to be an inconvenience, I very much appreciate it. What have I gotten myself into now? Something messy. Something wonderful. At least take me out to dinner before that. Though I suppose you might have a certain amount of charm were it not for the goofy hat. Now, you listen here. I may have set you two up, but don't forget that Master belongs to me. Madame, I assure you, were it not for the goofy hats, I would have nothing at all. You don't say. Then I suppose you've got to step over me at all. You've got to step over me at all. Mother, please do not say things like that now. I know. Wow, I, I accidentally hit the button. But unless it can somehow be changed, there's no use in lamenting that we cannot have in favor of appreciating which we can. Aren't we losing sight of the situation here? We're only working together. It's not like we're all about to be happy little family forever or something. That might depend on who you ask. I, I can't do these four voices all next to each other. Even though they're similar, because I don't do like super different accents. They all got like, they're all different, right? And speaking of working together, just what exactly are you all doing up here? Parenting. I have received a summons to this place from my dear friend Shade. Of course, I simply had to answer it. We were just assessing the viability of the glass pit of death you see before you as an entrance. Glass pit of death. Sounds like it's about my speed. That's not even all glass down there. There's ice, too. Goodness, you can tell from such a height? Oh, please, who do you think I am? More importantly, it hasn't melted yet. Whoever, whatever happened here happened recently. The plot thickens. It seems we're even less alone than we thought. And if it may, if it may be, if we may be of some service to whoever's responsible for this, let us make haste. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure there must be a less destructively created entrance. Then let's scout out and find that. Right! We can do it, for my name is Ash Ketchum, from Palatown. Who? 
But Master, your name isn't Ash Ketchum. And even then, eh, and even that can't stop us. Come, let us be off. My boy morphed into Ash Ketchum. My boy morphed into Ash Ketchum. We found an elevator for open use in the building nearby, and so we made our way through the factory with little difficulty. I presume thanks in part to you, Domino. And soon we arrived in this room where we saw... Me! What?! Which time? With the 15th time or the 16th time that I was freaking battling that? Anyway. You know what it's time for. Lights, cameras, and drama. <coughs> Quickly, give them to Volcarona. Domino hands over the sapphire bracelets. Domino, we should have guessed it was you. Excellent work, Volcarona. <laughs> Thank you. I suspect, uh, I suspect that is not quite the domino we know. Bennett! Uh, out for- Mother? Why did you have to come here too? For you, obviously. Your hair, it looks better. I'm aware, Mother, thank you. Now please, go. I don't wish for you to get dragged into this. You should have thought of that before you went and joined up with a terrorist organization. Firstly, they're more of a religious organization than a terrorist one. Secondly, I don't approve of everything they do. I'm just doing a few jobs for them until I've paid my dues. You'll be paying your dues for a while yet, and we're out of here. Come on, or you're grounded for the next 45 years. Make it 50. I'm not coming home. You can't treat me like a child forever, Mother. Zero, what are the lights doing? It's just a momentary dip in power. I, um, don't think it's anything to worry about? You may not be a child, but your actions are truly becoming- Are your actions truly becoming of an adult? My actions? I'm... I'm sorry, I, I cannot for a second take, take you seriously with that ridiculous mask on. I told him it was awful. Not all hats are created equal, but that doesn't mean they deserve any less respect. Mother, how do you manage to make every new boyfriend weirder than the last? Don't get the wrong idea here. Besides, you should already know that Master is vigorously taken. Do you have, a, do you have to phrase it like that? It's been, it's been a while, Gardevoir. Not long enough, if you ask me. I don't fault you for feeling that way. Please understand that I am no longer the same person you once knew. I would much rather let... I would much rather everyone let the past go, but I understand that won't be possible. Especially for you, Luna. I beg your pardon? I offer my sincerest apologies for how I acted before, but you need not accept them. There would be little point in doing so anyway. I disrespected you by treating you as an object for before a person. There is no excuse for this. Zero, is the pulse machine using too much power or something? The energy readings appear to be within acceptable levels. The stupid thing just keeps power cycling for some reason. But, um, it doesn't seem to have interrupted its hypnosis, so please don't worry. We'll continue to analyze it. So, don't hesitate if you, if you want us to use Domino to grind them into dust. Wow. They're gonna use me! The strong player who has to win every battle against the people. That is so smart. That is so smart. Take control of the main character. What a freaking concept. Uh, that man seems mildly unwell. Sarah, we only need to subdue them, not do anything drastic. Subdue them, huh? Okay, Domino, would you be so kind? Zero, that's not... So, that's how it is. You have Domino hypnotized. And that hideous pulse back there is the source. Then, there is only one thing we must do, is there not? We must defeat Domino in order to free him. Am I going to be fighting my own team? <laughs> we, if they make a battle out of this. They were wise to seize Domino as their defensive line, given that he has best all of us at some point. And there you go. But not all of us together. Wait! Master, was there something you wished to do? Was there not? Please, allow me to begin. Luna, you... Please, be silent. You claim you have changed, and you have chosen your side. If you if you are genuine in your prior ass uh, assertions, then what it is it the, what the... Then do what it is you set out to do for yourself now. You mean that if I truly respect you as a person, I need not take pity on or spare you as an enemy. It was never my intention for it to come to this, but so be it. I will cut the ties myself. Domino, defeat Luna. So, this is it. But this is only a natural outcome. 
There's no standing up to us anymore. With Domino on our side, we might as well be invincible. That's actually such a such a smart idea that no game ever does. What game has you has, takes over the main character so then you're the bad guy fighting against your friends who eventually come to that's just Are you so sure of that? After all, my only role here is to soften Domino enough for my parents to overcome. We will triumph as a family. If you will. Don't worry, dear Luna. Even through Domino, there's no way we'll lose the, to these creeps. Right, Master? I suppose it's our turn after all. Miss Volclane, may I have the honor of this in battle? Last time a man asked me that, he left me in the arena crying. That's a risk I'm interested in taking right now. Then let's hope you can satisfy. Seriously, Mother? I'm gonna be sick here. And this situation is stacked. Domino, use these. Bennett tossed Domino the full restores. And Zero, please actually do something already. That's your cue, Domino. Go get them. That's right. And I'm gonna smack them all up. Boobity bop 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Think about this. Think about this. Think about this. I defeated Kane and Shelly. The Hypno hypnotized me. I fought a single trainer in Luna. Let me see what Luna's team was. Pokey no no no, I don't need to do that. Let me let me go here. Luna. Luna. Luna is a dark trainer. What's her team? Weavile, uh, Weavile, Umbreon, Onchcrow, uh, Bisharp, and then those two stepped up. What's their teams? Ice types. What's Radimus' team? The other side. This is freaking crazy. I see, so at the end, it still hasn't been enough. Domino performs even better than I expected. Perhaps I've underestimated that woman. And it's all thanks to my pulse. Zero, do not forget that I was the one who did the work. But it's okay, you helped a lot too. And just what part of this are you proud of? None of this was necessary. You could have just put them to sleep from the start. Well, this was helpful to test. Don't speak. The only thing that's been tested is your willingness to indulge. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't understand. You've just, uh, I think that was Zell. Whatever it was. Um, you've just been enjoying puppeting Domino around as an outlet for your frustrations with them. That's... Nothing is gained by battling now when we'll just put them to rest anyway. But you said... Oh, I didn't finish my thought earlier when I was talking about, like, the battles that I was doing. You remember, like, the text where, like, every other letter was showing? That's exactly what they just said. So, last episode when I was looking up, uh, I thought... I, the word, I don't know, maybe I thought it was, I don't remember, but I couldn't figure out the word, but he just, anyway, anyway, uh, I said to actually do something, not to waste time and jeopardize the pulse of security in a one versus two scenario. I will take responsibility for the battles with Luna, but this fight served no other purpose than to stroke your own ego. I just wanted to make sure Domino was fully under control. You wanted to feel that control. I assume because you've lacked autonomy over your own body for so long. Am I wrong? And I read your file. You were just a grunt before joining with those girls, correct? Not an effective one, either. They were your only chance to stand out, which is why you cling to them even now. That kind of behavior you've demonstrated today exemplifies your incompetence. You let your emotions get in the way of your outcome. Until you learn to set ambitions aside and truly focus on yourself and your goals, you will never change. That missionary... Did that missionary teach you that? No, mother. That man has done little more for me than place me in footsteps my feet are not fit to fill even something 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 to fully live up to the title of elite form and realizing this i learned to step back and take a more serious approach to self-improvement i believe the results should speak for themselves the results don't speak louder than you sitting on the wrong side of the coin is it wrong to return one's debt the end of the end of a means does not make its meaning end are you sure you're not running from your own choices 
Zero, this has dragged on for too long already. If you truly want to make yourself useful, put them all to sleep already so we can move on. Got it. You'll be out of our way for good now. You won't. Gardevoir? You were already injured from that fight. There's no need to push yourself up. That was the Gardevoir that ended my life two times in a row and made me spend an extra hour playing this game that I needed to today. They would put Master to sleep. Toss him aside and never let him wake up again. Maybe dispose of him outright after what he did. I'll... I'll never ever let that happen. What is... what is she doing? As you know, Gardevoir are fiercely loyal to their trainers. It is said that they will do anything in their power to protect their trainer, even if it costs them their own life. Gardevoir. Don't try to stop me. This is what I need to do. For you. Rather than doing something dramatic, Though I know you are such a fan of that, let us have faith in the world and our other companions. Who is left? Who can stop Domino? Who won't he just be put to sleep? Gardevoir, please! No, this is the only way. I'll destroy that machine altogether. This is my purpose. This is, this is not your... Yes, it is. To make sure you live on all those years ago. This is what she asked me to do. She? No harm will come to your master, Gardevoir. You have my word. You think we can believe you after everything? He will he will sleep and nothing more. When it is over, he will wake. I do not wish to see you hurt either. Liar! After what you've done to Luna and Domino and what Team Meter intends to do after this, you want to make allowances now? I'll never believe that. This energy. In the most dire of circumstances, it's said that Gardevoir can use all of its power to go as far as even creating a small black hole. That's right. No matter how strong that pulse may be, I can erase it all together. Zero! I can set this right, and I will. Let Kane go! Caesar before it's too late! On it! M Master, whatever happens, please remember, I will always love you more than she or anyone else ever could. Zero! I've got it! Are we too late? Her energy is spiraling out of control. Everyone, get out of here! What about Domino and the others? There's no time! Ah, Volcarona, go already! Holy cow! Literally, holy... <laughs> this episode is literally just a big text bubble. <laughs> if you ever walked into a class late, then you know what it is like. Heads turn, eyes peel. You think of a thousand things they did not, but feel all the same. In that moment, you are the sole star in the sky, and they are trying to sleep. Expectation and anxiety are frequent guests at an otherwise unplanned tea party. And while their sugar sits untouched, the sun is setting too far slowly. Far too slowly. Never soon enough, it will be time for them to go along in their way. They will retire for the evening, home to their wives, to their children, children who grow tired, children who grow asleep. But still, you must peel their eyes. There comes a time in every child's life where they must lay down their teaspoon, pinch the corners of a fabric, and pull the tablecloth right away. Enough, she says, and follows the lights out. When there is only one path, there is only one way to go. And when, in the darkness, the path cannot be seen at all, then you are free. For now the time has come for me to follow my own infinity. Farewell, mother. Farewell, father. It has been like a dream. So Luna's just gone? No, 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 no. Why? Why? Why did control, control, right? Incompetence. This is how it all, this is how it is. This is how it, it, it was. Best is not good enough. Best is not good enough. I told you why, Zero. What do we do? What to do? Eve, tell me what we should do. Report back to Lambradora. Then we'll want to know what ha what's happened. I'll take the bracelets and finish from here. That's right, that's right. As long as we have the sapphire bracelets, it's okay. She won't be mad, she won't be mad. Will she? Go. Yes. When did Zell become such a, such a pushover? Darn it, Warren. I'm sorry it had to come to this. Mother, are you all right? Never better. Good. And Luna? Where's Luna? Do you know what happened to Luna? 
Luna stepped into that black hole on her own. Sheep. Is this the end you hope to achieve? Shut up. I don't want to hear it from someone who couldn't even control his own Pokemon. Then from whom would you prefer to hear it? Is this the only person you listen to? Don't kid me. He and I used each other, nothing more. Oh, oh, it's about to go down. I have no respect for his beliefs or his goals. But you enact them all the same, with little alternative. But now that you mention it, I can disappear from here. They will conclude I was lost in the damage. I can break free of this now. Why did it cost Luna and Gardevoir? Thank you. Mother, you may rest assured I will not meddle with this group again. You're still grounded. That's fine. I'm still not coming home. I need to destroy the surveillance footage here. And what about your cohort? He will, he will, he will make a report, correct? I'm a fool. I have to stop him immediately. Um, excuse me? Oh, you're awake now. I'm glad you're safe. Miss Bellrose, I'm deeply sorry for what has happened. I have heard that these once belonged to you and your to your family. Please take them. So Bennett gave Laura. Who was Laura? Some of these people I haven't seen in months. I mean, literal months. Literal months. Oh, I have not seen Laura yet. Got it. Sorry. Dang. That. Okay. <laughs> I don't understand. There's no time. I have to hurry. Maybe I could help you? Your confusion, your confusion is apparent. Listen, it's because of me that you lost your position as a member of the Elite Four. Elias created a false notice of termination, and then we uh, hypnotized you to handwrite a letter of res resignation. Resignation. And then I took you over your spine. I'm truly sorry for what has happened, but right now I must go. Does that mean I can't help? You're a deeply concerning person. Let me put it more simply. I've been your enemy. There's no reason for you to help me. I think there is. Do people have to do, uh, do people have to be defined by their flaws and mistakes? Even if we are not defined by them, we cannot just ignore them. I understand that, that you must have done some bad things, but I also understand that you're doing your best to change. If I can be of any help, I would like to. You sound just like her. Ugh. I have two sisters, and they aren't particularly spotless either. Nobody is. Still, I have learned that in order to survive, we have to work together, no matter what. Fine, do whatever you want. There's a somewhat dis- uh, dis- Disheveled black man in black currently going on foot from here to Labrador. Can you catch him? If we can change the weather, my Pokemon should be able to outspeed anyone. I'll do it. And I'll destroy the security footage here and meet up with you. And I'll see if I can bring some food. Despite our systems, you must be starving after sleeping for so long. We can work out the details with the Elite Four then, okay? That sounds wonderful. Deal, let's go quickly. What the heck? Why did, have I seen Laura before? First encounters the orphanage in Lapis Ward, where she told us her name. Belrose Man Mance. After the protagonist, blah, 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 greets them, blah, 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 blah. Hey, well, so much for a happy little family. Luna, Gardevoir, Kane, and even Domino. Everyone always disappears. Let us not make a bad situation worse by exercising its extremes. So Shade just going to drop me off. Shade's just going to drop me off. Unbelievable. Nice story. And here we are. I don't know what, by what means or madness Shade pulls you back into this world, but it appears you have business that you are not yet permitted to quit. If I may so, be so bold, how was it on your end that you managed to return? Luna herself showed you the way. Luna did? Then... It seems there are still miracles that defy our understandings. Will you still hold your wounds close, Miss Volclaim? I don't know what to count on anymore. Maybe nothing. Now you're getting it. Let us presume to hope she let us presume to hope she will be back one day. After all, you never know who will stroke through the door next. Everyone is always coming and going and coming right back. You made it back! Not that 
I doubted Nostra or anything. Where did these kids come from? Oh my god! Are you okay? What happened? I'm sorry? Those cracks all over your skin. Do you need help? On my skin? Am I getting wrinkles again? No, not wrinkles. Cracks! See, all over here and here and here? I don't... Don't, uh... Don't worry about it. She always sees things other people don't. That, see, that seems safe. It's not always. Jeez! But really, what are you doing here? This isn't a place for children. Now, uh If this wasn't a place for children, then why would we be here? That's what I'm thinking. We're here for him. Yep, Nostra made us sleep. Uh, Nostra made us sleep so that poor Hypno couldn't. And then we came to meet him. Hi, cute hat. Have you been crying? Not anymore. You really are just like her. Come here. Wait, don't tell me you're... There... What? Like everyone didn't see that coming? Yeah, I don't really know how I would have come to that conclusion, having just met you and all. Sorry to keep you waiting so long. It is so... It is so very, very alright. I'm just happy to see you again. You've both gotten so big. When I lost you, you were just this tiny. And if anyone should be sorry to keep someone waiting, it's me. You both deserve so much more. It's alright. Nostra said this is the only thing that could have happened. I, I do know how that is. So you still got it. That's a relief. Of course I do. We were never willingly let go of something you gave us. And that Cleffa too. Oh, and that Cleffa too. His name's Nomos. Nomos, hello. It's nice to meet you. He says hi. No, tell him everything Nomos... Uh... No, tell him everything Nomo says, not just the first part. No, you said? And if I heard correctly, you go by Anna. Yep, that's us. Shouldn't you already shouldn't you already know that? Those were the names that your mother chose for you. Painter. Fantasia. Those are such cool names. What this <laughs> She had some flair about her. When I had to let you go, I purposely withheld your names. So there would be no way they could find you. Who is they? Team Meteor. It was a long time ago, but I had done something back then that made them very angry. I didn't want any harm to come to you, so I had to make sure you didn't get mixed up with them. And just look how that turned out. It's okay, I know you were just doing your best. Whether it was right or not, here, you should have this back. Radimus gave Anna the Amethyst Pendant. You had it! I was so sad after it was taken. I was so sad I got sick and almost died of sadness. Why did you give it to her? It was not one of my better plays, perhaps. I was hoping Team Meteor would never find it if it was with you two, but instead it gave them the cause to seek you out. Perhaps sentimentally got the better... Perhaps sentimentality got the better of me. Whether that was right or wrong? No. I mean, why did you give it to her and not me? Why is Anna the one that's always special? Ah. Here, you can keep it. No, that's okay. I don't want it. I just wanted to know. You deserve it more than I do. It's not about deserving or not, just take it. Anna, I can't even hear no Nomos. I never could. I shouldn't hold something like that. I know you can't. What? That's okay, you'll understand eventually. If you ever want to hold the pendant instead, just ask me, okay? Okay. So, why did you give it to Anna? It was your mother's before. I simply thought it would suit her better. But it seems there may be uh, there may be some cause and effect in your similarities after all. Still, I understand that was unfair to you. I hope you can forgive me. It's not like it matters. I don't understand any of you. However, do you want... Do you mean... It's been how many years? And you all just go on like nothing happened? You act like all you knew the whole time was that you would meet here. The future has a funny way of never being how we know it. But we never had to know. All we had to do was decide. The future cannot hold a candle to the resolution to resolution. Considering something something like the law of the large numbers, it's only logical this would happen eventually if we kept looking. Plus, we had little help. You're unbelievable. What? I can totally be believed, right, Noel? Sometimes. No But uh but despite but despite being unbelievable, here you all are. I can't I can't breathe, man. And that just means you need to change your beliefs. If how you see things isn't accurate, isn't an accurate reflection of reality, then why keep looking that way? You're the last person who should be saying that. 
Or the first! A reflection of reality, huh? In that case, maybe it's better to just put up the, put the mirror down. Let there be no reflection at all. And see things however work best for you. I know the voice has changed. I missed it. Smooth talking runs in the family, doesn't it? They got it from their mother. I don't think that's true. Maybe we all did. And maybe we all have room to learn from them too. It's just tough to lose people, but you can lean on the people still around you. So depend on us now. Hey now, who's- hey, hey now, who's the parent here? I had it right. Oops. But you are of course correct. I only lament that I had to say goodbye to Gardevoir and Luna to say hello to you. Not to mention the other boy. I'll admit it. I'll admit it could have been much worse given the circumstances. Perhaps the only reason the damage was so minimal was because Gardevoir fought to control herself even through their hypnosis. Loyal to the very end? That's something I'm not used to. Maybe it's time you change that. Um, excuse us. Okay. Sorry to interrupt, but... Anna, you did it! Great job to both of you. Did you open a daycare service while I wasn't looking? Maybe if I... Uh, maybe if I wasn't also looking. If I also wasn't looking. Okay, everybody. These are my friends, Lumi and Eve. Oh, hi! We've caused a lot of trouble for you. Please accept my apologies. I can't... I can't keep doing new voices. <laughs> I, I don't have this many voices. There are six characters on the screen. I don't have six voices. <sighs> oh, I can't I can't do this voice on a full breath like that. I believe the man in black who was here before had called out to you. That's correct. I have no, I have no idea what word that was. It's kind of a long story, but basically we're stuck together with him for a long time in the same body. Oh my god, Zell split. Zell split into Zero, Lumi, and Eve. Oh my gosh. I wouldn't recommend the experience. I'm gonna assume. Wait, Eve is on the right, right? I think Eve is on the right. In essence, we had to work for Team Meteor the entire time. I developed the pulse systems that have been used to create a nearly insurmountable degree of trouble. Oh, thanks for that. Hey, she didn't do it because she wanted to. I agreed to help develop machines for Team Meteor only under the condition that Lumi's physical body would be adequately preserved. That both of our bodies would be. You don't need to keep putting yourself aside. I always intended to find a way to restore ourselves to our proper bodies, but working towards that was impossible when we didn't, have a, didn't even have the privacy of our own thoughts. I'm happy to be back, but I wish we didn't have to lose that poor Magnazone for it. And full control took a while to, to get used to again. It was difficult at first, yes. Wait, I just switched the voices. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I had it right. Thank you again for what you did. Totally. And what exactly was that? Can we stop asking questions? I've been reading for 45 minutes. <laughs> Can we stop? <laughs> Alright, we're good. We're good. No and I switched places with these girls. Lucia said it would be really important for them to wake up right away. Thanks to that, we were able to help Domino reach this place. Oh, ah, crap. This is Eve. This is Eve. And we hid in and moved through the vents to invade Team Meteor and stole, stole our Pokemon. Glaceon and Espeon. Whoa. Whoa! And that's why Zell's voice wasn't changing the letters because they split off. Oh my god! The layers! The layers right now! I'm missing it. I definitely don't understand what's going on. I definitely don't understand everything that's going on. I don't know who's talking right now. And stole our Pokemon back to... This is Lumi. I'm assuming Lumi's the one that... Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks for taking good care of Glaceon, Domino. Oh! It's just their Pokemon. Okay, got it. I was thinking way too deep. I was thinking way too deep. Even what happened after Do uh, th though what happened after Domino actually got here could have gone better. Yeah. Um. Don't get us wrong, Domino. We're not trying to fault you, but we know Zero would try to use Hypno to control you, so we tried to stop it. We tried to cut the system's power as soon as we he used it on you, but unfortunately the power supply has an auto reboot function. I hadn't accounted for this to preempt it, so we were all we were able to do was power cycle the system. 
We were hoping if we did enough, maybe we would make the ho enough holes in the control scheme for Domino to break through. But you saw the result. That's okay, you tried as best you could. I feel really bad for Kane. Uh, I feel really bad for Kane. He never had a chance to act on his own from the time he had come here to when he fell into the black hole. Yeah, but Domino came back, so maybe he can too. Speaking of coming back, it may be prudent for us to quit this place before too long. Um, would it be alright for us to go with you? We don't really know who else to turn to to get away from Team Media. Are you kidding? Not only can you come with us, you have to. I see no reason why not. Everyone will be waiting in Kalsanon City. Eve, 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 Eve. I have some information about Team Meteor that will be of relevance to you all as well. What should we do about this one? Hey there, sleepyhead. It's time to wake up. Look at all the friends surrounding you. You just go over and just wake up Shelly like that? Um. Um. What? What happened? Where's Kane? We'll have to explain later. For now, we need to get going. Um, by the way, there was that boy sleeping in one of the elevators still. That sounds like a cozy place. We tried to wake him up after Hypno had been stopped, but he still wouldn't move. Even Glaceon's heel bell wouldn't work. He just went right back to sleep every time. We'll see what we can do. Should, should worse come to worse, I'll carry him myself. Can you really get him by yourself? All the way to Kalsanon? Certainly not, but as long as we have our Pokemon, anything is possible. Don't worry, Daddy, you'll see her again. Nostra said so. Did she now? Then I suppose I have no choice but to believe it. Let us be on our way. Domino, you're coming too, right? No. Aw, that's okay. I understand. Do what you need to, but make sure to meet up with us in Kalsanon City later. Forty-seven. Forty-seven minutes. Forty-seven minutes. Minutes. 47 minutes of solid reading. I mean solid reading. I'm just going to get out of here. Right, that's all I have time for right now. For sure it's this way. Wait, what is this? I feel like there's more to this than meets the eye. Oh, so this is not the way to go. But I, I know where to go. So... I want to say that I kept up with it. But there was honestly so much going on. I, I don't know if I really... I don't know if I really got everything. But that's all I got. My, my throat hurts. I just read for 47 solid minutes. We're going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode there. If you enjoyed our very, very story-driven, very heavy, I mean, oh my gosh. Hit the thumbs up down below. Make sure you're subscribed. We'll see you next week for some more Pokemon Reborn, where I imagine we're finishing soon. Uh, I, I don't know. We'll continue on. Hopefully we're not, because I really enjoy this game. But we'll see you in the next episode. Until then, have a blessed day.